Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch Hello Good Game. Today we're going to talk about how you can improve your win rate no matter what format you play, no matter what kind of deck you play, as long as you're playing Magic Gathering Arena, there's always ways that you can you know, improve your skill set and uh, thereby your win rate. And in my opinion, one of the first battles to take down and to accomplish is overall awareness now uh this video has not been planned it's going to be a little weird not scripted and i'm not going to edit it uh, i don't have enough time within the day uh, so you're going to get some interesting takes but i think generally you want to be aware of the overall meta you want to be aware of your deck um you know many times and now this is hearsay don't put me uh to the cross or anything but uh if you can think and uh, imagine your way out of a situation utilizing the cards within your deck. Not 100% of the time, what well, definitely not, but a percentage of the time. And uh, this may be surprisingly high once you start taking note of it. Um, you know, if you can think of what gets you out of the situation, uh, what's best for you in that occasion, that's 90% of the battle. Um, maybe not 90%, but it's a good portion of it and now through knowing this you obviously know your deck you're gonna know your opponent's deck and you're gonna know the possible engagements and interactions that are available right now in the current uh, situation right and now this seems really easy but that's complex now there's different decks that you're playing against right ten different decks that all engage differently with you in different ways at different times within the match so that's a lot to get down. Um, and typically you get a, uh, a mental catalog of this that you know builds up to uh, assist your decision-making process. And that's something that's gained over a lot of time playing within the meta and the meta here in arena is changing you know pretty consistently every three months. Um, it's actually quite quick when you think about how much new content is injected into the game how many new cards and all of the different interactions that get brought up and how people are trying to balance all of this together. So there's a lot going on there. And uh, to map it out is a lot. And now people have different uh, you know, abilities to learn at different rates, right? So there's one way we can go about speeding all of this up, right? Making it a more visual process for you. And uh, through doing that, it's no longer this odd back catalog that is uh, just general awareness that you'll build up on your own. But we actually can access some information to help us along that journey. So today, we're going to be talking about improving our win rate in Magic the Gathering Arena via Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant. And, uh, you know, there's lots of other trackers out there as well. I personally and, uh, you know, most other content creators I know are using Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant. It's available for free within the Overwolf link uh, via the description below if you don't want to type it in, right? Uh, just go click that. It'll take you to a download page. You can install it. One thing I'll mention here before we get into it, uh, I'm sure it tells you this, but you do have to go into your account and enable the detailed logs support. And this just allows the game to communicate uh, with the app that you're gonna download, which is the Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant. And then it just pops up as an overlay. And now there's a ton of information uh, incorporated within this app and we're gonna get into it here uh, on Hello Good Game. So if you find any value within the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content and share this to a friend who you might also find uh, could use some value from it. So once you have it installed, um, you can just go ahead and click on it here. And if it's your first time into it, definitely go through everything, learn all about it where everything is. Um, but I talked about your overall awareness through knowing the meta. And this used to be something that we had to learn for ourselves, right? It's like, well, I took a tally and today I played against four mono red decks, three Demir Flash and a Rakdos midrange, right? And you do the percentages and here's my personal uh, metagame right now for my environment. But thanks to, uh, first of all, uh, we had the tournament scene came out and we could look it up online. Uh, MTGA top8.com had this information for us, right? 
And then we also got the arena tournament information because uh, certain tournaments were taking place within arena before COVID. Now, I think all of the tournaments are taking place in arena. So that information uh, might be a little bit more relevant. But thanks to Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant, we don't even need to take note of the tournament information unless we want to. We can focus right on our own information within uh, the game itself, right? So the people actually playing Arena, playing Ranked right beside us, what's happening uh, in our current environment, which is really good. So if we open it up, the first tab is the metagame overview. And then across the top banner, standard, traditional standard, standard events, historic, traditional, historic, historic events, brawl, right? So, you know, you get a uh, wide scape of every single game mode and you get to see which decks are being played at what percentage within those game modes. Plus you get to see the average win rate of those decks based on the amount of matches played. And we can see that in mono red here, there's been 26,000 games registered uh, for this metagame information. Now that's a lot more games than I could ever hope to play as a single individual, even in a whole season, right? <laughs> I don't even know if I've played that many games in my arena career yet, yet right? So uh, there's so much information readily available to you within the assistant that you can't not have it. And again, the download link for that is in the description below. So your first step is to become aware of the meta. This is gonna be done through overviewing uh, the metagame information here in the assistant and then playing those games to kind of learn how the two correlate and uh, you can actually begin to trust the information you get in uh, the assistant because you know something telling you how it is isn't really great until you actually realize that wow those those numbers and statistics really match up so that's absolutely great uh another thing that we can get into is um you know just our general collection right getting into our uh cards that we have that's always great uh, not really anything to do with your win rate, but I'm always uh, trying to complete my sets and you know, we don't have 100% in anything. So even those of us trying the hardest aren't quite there. And our poor jump start set, how will you guys rectify this for us? We need a jump start injection for the new year, you guys. A COVID jump start injection. We need to start a petition, get wizards to give us some jump start cards for free, please. Um, anyways, where did I want to get to? It was the, uh, the stats and tools, deck statistics. This is great. So now that we know what the general metagame is, we can take a look at our decks uh, and how they've been performing, right? So if we're looking to really push rank, we shouldn't be playing with jank decks. We should be playing with the best, best decks that we have. And now in game without assistant, there's no way to get this information, right? You could, again, on paper track, track your win rate. That's a lot more work than we want to be doing. That's like 90s shit. <laughs> it's 2020. We're going into 2021. So you can see your win rates here of your decks. Now that's great. So you can see uh, how many matches you've played and the win rate uh, of those decks. So pick one of your better decks that you want to push with. For example, uh, we went 11 and 3 here with Yasharn the Terror. So that's a pretty decent sample size. For me, uh, Orzhov Undying Aggro, even better, 24 and 11. So the bigger sample size you can get, the more accurate these numbers will be. And now that sample size just increases through the amount of games you played. And um, yeah, again, we do have to play here on the channel two different decks every day. So it's hard to really sink our time into uh, one specific deck to increase that sample size. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And uh it's still a great way for me to improve my win rate uh, on my downtime when I'm like, okay, it's getting to the end of the season. Which decks should I start to focus on to make sure that I'm, you know, having that best chance uh, that I can to reach the top 1500, top 1000 mythic, whatever it happens to be, right? So that is uh, your second step, right? So first step, becoming aware of your general environment. I guess this kind of falls in that category as well. Um, because your decks is your own environment. And then when we do uh, get into the matches, as we'll show you guys here, uh, you'll see that uh, you get the on the left-hand side, the percentage draw. So it's got your whole deck listed. Now, this is great for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, you can start to plan your way out of situations that um, you don't want to be in, right? So I talked about 
uh, earlier on, kind of knowing your deck and imagining yourself uh, into an ideal situation. Sometimes your opponent has the advantage and you need to plan your way out of it. It might be a specific piece of removal, a counter spell, right? Maybe you need just that little bit more of damage or reach on your opponent to finish the match. Um, but becoming aware of what your ideal draw would be is uh, made easier through the visualization of having your deck uh, available to you. Now, if you didn't make the deck yourself, if you're not super familiar with the deck, trying a new deck, right? Uh, this is one of the greatest ways, uh, as far as I'm concerned, to improve your win rate. Uh, just having general deck awareness, um, and then you can look at your percentage draws, right? You can start to focus on the positive things within your deck that are going to lead you out of it, rather than the negative things that are happening on the board state uh, that are leading to your anxieties or whatever, right? So try to focus on what's good for you, not what's bad for you. And I know that's voodoo too, but every percentage counts when uh, I believe a professional win rate uh, is what, 53 or 54%. So if you can squeeze a couple of percentages uh, just through positivity, you definitely should. With that being said, you guys, there is a ton of more information within Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant. If you're looking to draft, you'll see the draft helper. Now you get recommended um, you know, card values uh, from professionals through Channel Fireball. I think Death Sea's in there as well. Um, so these are people who play draft for a living years and years and they rank all of the cards um, because I'm sure as you guys know um, playing draft or limited is much different than playing constructed or uh, ranked right uh, it's not the same the power level in limited goes way down um, and the interactions become much more valuable right rather than you know the big sways that you get in standard so the two play modes are very different. If you've not played limited, check it out. Um, it's a great way if you're a beginner because it's always a, I say fair playing field because you're all picking from cards that are random. It's not like, well, I've got all the wild cards in a complete collection. Here's all my mythics in one deck. Uh, that's not going to happen, which makes it more fair. But if you're a beginner, you're at an inherent disadvantage because you don't have the experience. And one way to help get into it, dip your toes, is the draft helpers available within the trackers. So you can start making those better decks and drafting better, or learning what a good deck is, learning what the good cards are, uh, so on and so forth, right? Uh, so again, no matter what kind of gameplay you're playing, Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant can help you improve your win rate and general play experience within Magic the Gathering Arena. I know I recommend it. I'm sure any other content creator you ask is going to recommend it to you as well. Again, available for free to everybody on Windows right now uh, within the Overwolf link in the description below. Check it out, and we'll see you in Mythic. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend, and if you found enough value to support financially, you can do so on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, and our Amazon link. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.